Hey, so what's up? To start this video, I will introduce you to a concept called tasks in Gulp. So basically, tasks are a functions, just normal JavaScript functions. Uh, and in Gulp.js, you can await a couple of them. So for example, I want function A and B to finish, then execute C and B. And to give you more context or more specific example, I will compile my SAS, my SAS and I will wait for this compilation to end. Then I will go and minify the output CSS from that compilation. So basically, it's a way to, or Gulp.js provide us a way to organize or yeah, to organize these tasks. So we will execute uh, a couple of them at the beginning. Then when these two finish or when these couple uh, of functions finishes, we'll execute another uh, functions. So we can actually organize how our functions being executed by Gulp. And let's just start from scratch. I mean, I'm, maybe I'm getting uh, a little bit ahead of myself, but I think in the code, everything will be clear. So I will go to my desktop, as you can see, in my terminal, I will create a directory. You can this you can do this by this command, make directory. Uh, if you are in Windows, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure what is the command, but you can do it in the UI. I will call it gulp for, this is the latest version, YouTube. And I will go, uh, sorry, uh, gulp for, okay. Now, uh, tomorrow, I mean, this is empty, but I need to install uh, Gulp here. To install Gulp, you will use NPM. So I need to mark this project as an as a project that uses NPM. So I will type NPM in net. And by the way, this is my NPM version. It's 6.14. Uh, I'm not sure this will be an issue, but you need to have, uh, I, mean, I, I mean, about the version. I'm not sure if the version will be an issue, but you need to have NPM installed and Node.js as well. Um, yeah, so npm init and I will put dash y. So by default, npm will ask you about all of this stuff. I will put dash y to answer the by the default answers. Now let's just open this by in Visual Studio Code. So first thing we need to install. Uh, I will delete this file I was testing earlier. Looks like uh, Visual Studio Code saved my stuff. Anyway. Um, we need to install Gulp locally. That's what I said in the previous video. To do this, uh, maybe I'm not, maybe I wasn't that clear. But installing it locally means installing it on the node modules for this project. So I'll put npm install. Since we have our package to JSON, this will work. npm install Gulp, and there is two type of dependencies in Gulp. Uh, normal dependencies, which are packages that I, I, the way I differentiate between them, if this code of or if this package will interact with the end user I will just install it like this if the end user is the developer like Gulp or Webpack or, Web, or, or Babel or Browser Sync these are uh, some packages that, that, that the developer will interact with I will install it as a development dependencies like this by, by adding the dash D uh, flag I will show you what this will end up in the package of JSON when this finishes but to start or to make things faster I will create a gulp file.js and as you can see our Visual Studio Code recognizes this uh, file and have this unique icon for it so like I said gulp tasks are just functions so I will create a couple of functions empty functions compile uh, as CSS this is our first uh, function an row function and that will be it and another function we will have is min minify CSS so the main idea behind these two functions this one should compile our SAS files which we will create in a couple of videos and this one will minify the CSS files that have been produced from this function that will compile the SAS files, okay? So this is the main idea. Now to execute or to tell Gulp to execute these two functions, uh, we need to wait to, wait to install first. <laughs> then, like I said, we need to create an NPM script. But before that, as you can see, development dependencies have Gulp in it. Uh, normal dependencies are just like this. So 
dependencies uh, uh, you will have maybe here, here react and jQuery and stuff like that but since only the developer will interact with this I will put it here now to run gulp we don't have it globally we have it in the node modules if you open this you will see gulp if you go to the G letter as you can see here is gulp uh, now to use it we need to create an npm script I will, I will remove this this is generated by default I will put dev so this is the alias you can put here anything you want now and in the other uh, part of this command or this line I will put the name of the package I need npm to execute from the node modules and what is that is gulp now let me run npm npm run dev and this actually as you can see executed gulp but we have some errors so uh, yeah this executed gulp which is fine we want that this is fine I will close now package to JSON but as you can see the error task never define default so we don't have a default task uh, and to define a default task you need to export like this so exports dot default exports dot default this will accept the default task that will be run whenever you execute gulp in a specific directory so we tell so basically this is our workflow we will turn npm like this by typing npm run dev to execute gulp gulp will go and search for gulp dot gulp file dot js and will execute the default uh, functions or the default tasks there's actually another way we can export specific tasks and tell gulp to execute that single task we will go into that in a minute in, in a, maybe in another video but for now we'll just make our default task work there is yeah what we can do is put here compile css and that should be it but you will when we run npm run dev you will notice something the following task did not complete so when we executed this function it gulp js needs us to define a way that this function have been ended you can actually do this in multiple way but remember if your function does not return anything gulp js will pass to it a callback function and you need to execute that when this being executed this tells gulp that this function ha or this task have been ended so let's run this again so as you can see uh, it finished this default task which is compiled CSS SAS, sorry, after 1.8 millisecond so this is one of the ways to tell gulp that this task have been finished you might ask why why because uh, in some cases or at least not yeah in some cases this is one of them we need to compile SAS then minify it then minify the output of the first task so we will wait this this provide us the output the CSS files from the SAS we will go and minify them so this task depend on this one so we will await it and when this finishes by calling the callback this one will be executed now this uh, give us uh, like um, provide a question or anyone will have a question right now how can export multiple tasks I mean right now we are only exporting the SAS task I mean it's fine but we in usual cases you will execute multiple tasks when you just run npm run dev you will compile minify then serve right so there is actually a function ex exists in our gulp.js package so just the the yeah okay so the, pro the laptop just froze so as you can see i'm requiring gulp this is common js module uh, so this is tells you that I'm running Node.js. This gulp file, the context of this file is Node.js. So in, inside of this uh, gulp file, we can import it like this. Import everything as a variable called gulp, and then gulp will contain a function called series. Or the way I prefer to import these kind of stuff uh, by destructuring. So this module gulp will export a function contains multiple properties, and we can actually get uh, the series property which is a function but this is equivalent of writing like this so 
import everything as a variable called gulp now gulp.series I'll create another value so these two lines are in this one they are equivalent that's why I like the first approach because uh, it's shorter so now what I will do I will export default a series which is compile sas and then minify it so I will also need to notify gulp that this task has been finished so I will put the call back and execute it so what this will do this will execute compile sas and when this finishes this will execute the minify this is what series do there is another one I will show you in the next video called uh, parallel or you know I think we have time I I'll show it to you now but what series do this task minify CSS won't work won't be executed until this one finishes or this one finishes means in this context calling the callback okay so when this one finishes this one will be executed so now let's run npm with dev so as you can see uh, starting compile sas finished compile sas now starting minify sas and finished uh, minify css there is another thing uh, in, uh, alongside with series called parallel parallel from the name it will run multiple tax tasks at the same time so i will create now two other tasks this will be our starting template for the next videos now compile javascript this will be the same exact for now like this another one minify javascript it will be the same exact uh, the other functions so what you can do so I'm exporting now a series which is fine but I can actually compile CS compile the SAS and the JavaScript at the same time right we, they they don't depend on each other so to do this I will use the parallel so let me start by a series I will put here a parallel compile JavaScript and compile SAS this will execute them together at the same time then when this parallel command or this parallel tasks finishes I will also execute another parallel tasks that are not related to each other which is minifying the CSS and minifying the JavaScript right let me just put that there and minify JavaScript so to just to repeat it again these two tasks will start uh, at the beginning when they both done these two tasks will start at the same time so this is actually really really nice I mean if you think about it try doing this on your own uh, it's, it's not that easy uh, and actually I like this syntax in Gulp 3 the syntax is not uh, it's not beautiful in my opinion uh, this one is uh, I, I would say it's perfect uh, it's really readable I mean I have a series of tasks the, s the first two are parallel you need to await them then execute the second parallel ones which is very nice so let's now run npm run dev so starting default fine starting compiling javascript and compiling sas so as you can see they both started it, although none of them have been finished so now they both they are both finished uh, they gulp will start these two tasks at the same time minifying javascript and css uh, they will both finish now the default task or which the default task which is a series of tasks have been finished uh, and that's it that's the basics now we should put our logic here to do all of these things that we defined by the name of their functions now we will compile sas real sas files we will do all of that um, i think i will end the video now it's getting long so thank you